Okay, hi everybody. I'm going to give a few tips on this front uh, hood, I guess we'll call it the front hood of the ski of this uh, Ultra 300 or a 310. And I guess some of the naturally aspirated skis as well with the same hull design. Probably have the same hood, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, what I check for is uh, check all the bolts. They're all 10 millimeter. Make sure they're all tight. They're plastic. Uh, I believe they screw into plastic, so don't over tighten them. I found a few that were a little bit loose. Uh, I checked all the screws with a Phillips all the way around. And these two I've had a problem with before. This one here and the one on that side. They're small screws. Uh, they came out of the factory. They were quite loose. I couldn't really tighten them. I think they were stripped. So I put a little bit of silicone in them, this one and that one. There's only two like this on either side and it wasn't really tight. So today I put some contact cement on the threads and screwed them back in and I think that'll snug them down. Uh, another thing to watch for, see this rubber bumper here and the rubber bumper on this side as well. I epoxied those on because they were just barely hanging on. Uh, so keep an eye on those. There's a couple more here. This one seems to be fine. It's maybe moving a bit. Um, it, they're, like a, they're like a peel and stick uh, rubber bumper. So I epoxied them on these two top ones. And uh, they seem to be okay. I used some clear two-part epoxy on that one. I didn't have any more. So I used some of that uh, JB Weld type epoxy. And it seems okay. Uh, another thing too. So anyways, check all the bolts. All the screws. Uh, things do come loose. I, I checked that big nut there. I just touched it a little bit with a spanner, a crescent wrench, whatever you want to call it. Got about an eighth of a turn out of it. I didn't want to over torque it. Put a little bit of synthetic grease in the center. Just a little dab of synthetic on there. My super lube synthetic grease. There's my super lube. And then uh, this mechanism here, as I talked about, guys that are riding in salt water, make sure you rinse off this here because salt gets in here and jams it up. Um, I've tried to push in some more grease, some uh, super lube again, and uh, got some here and here and checked all these bolts as well and here, checked all these, made sure they're tight. But I thought I could take these end caps off. They're plastic here and, and jam some grease in there into here uh, what it pivots on or turns on but I, I couldn't get them off it looked like I was breaking the plastic so I thought about taking this off and I ended one screw and I, I didn't really get any further so I just tried to jam some grease in the ends and uh, that'll probably work but I was hoping this plastic cap here would just pop off and I'd jam lots in there but just to keep an eye on that uh, things do come loose so uh, you know something popped off up here like that nut or these these screws this might get damaged who knows just to keep an eye on it I keep an eye on this uh, ring too I don't know if it just presses on or if it's glued on I presume it's glued on but uh, do keep an eye on these bumpers as well like I say I've talked about that before they do come off and then then you got to go buy one they don't cost much I'm sure but it's just another hassle you know and then things start rattling around and uh, that type of thing so anyways uh, that's today's tip on the hood and uh, that's five videos this weekend so I think that's enough videos for a week or so okay that's from Rod hope that helps